Nigga wanna see me fall Stephen Curry, how I ball Gosha garments and a white three on my body I'm a Nikon, man And my girl about a ten I should fuck her in the best Make it say What's good YouTube? It's your boy JR and I'm back again with another PUBG video. In this video, I wanted to come out with a video just talking about the new settings that you can find within PUBG. And I believe that some of you guys will definitely be able to use these to definitely improve your overall experience. So if you're looking for a video that will help you, you know, adjust your settings, I did make a whole video talking about that, and I'll leave a link to that in the description below. I went over like just about every every single thing with your settings, and I believe it would help you you guys adjust your settings if you're having you know some problems but in this video I mainly wanted to focus on type C plus the new auto attachment feature and then depending on how long the video is then I may go over the my other settings as well but like I said in this video I'm just going to break out the hang hand cam and just show you some pluses and minuses of type C and then we can go from there thank you guys so much for all the support so in my last video, like I said, I already talked about type A and type B, but in the latest patch, they brought out type C and I don't really know how I feel about this. Let me know what you guys think. Basically what it changes is to aim down the sights, you still um, hold in bottom left trigger and then to hold your breath, you tap in on left stick. And you can see here when you do that, you can just tap and he'll hold his breath. I kind of like that part. And then if you want to lean, you use, you know, the top bumpers. Which is pretty cool but for me like i feel like that would be really awkward because when i don't really play claw so if you're going to use type c you would generally have to hold your controller like this and to lean you would have to like do this and also another thing that i don't like about it is um you can't soft aim so if you play a lot of third person which is primarily what pubg console is you can't soft aim which would probably put you at a pretty big disadvantage now you can map your keys different and let me know if you guys are using type c i heard some positive feedback especially from like the fvp players but for me i'm not going to be using it just because you can't you know you can't soft aim and i don't really know how i feel about that now one thing that i thought about trying is as you guys know i have the paddles on the bottom of my controller i need to get an elite controller because apparently with these paddles and the mod pack apparently you can mod, mod your controller and i don't have any part of that but <laughs> But I am using these paddles just for paddles and like I said with type B I can hold my breath So what I thought about doing is mapping the buttons just a little bit different What I thought about doing is mapping the buttons to where I would lean left and right and then holding my breath by pushing in on the left stick That would prevent me from like sometimes when, I, when I'm in a gunfight I notice that I'll accidentally lean left or right and a lot of times that'll get me killed So I thought about maybe trying that but as far as like trying type C the way it is it's really not for me, but I just wanted to let you guys know that, you know, you can give it a try if you would like. You just can't soft aim if you use this feature. And then next, I wanted to tell you guys, you know, the best settings for the auto equip feature, which is honestly extremely awesome. So you want to turn auto equip attachments on. Auto equip scopes, you want to have that to sights only. If you have it for all, then that could mess you up like let's say you land hot at like sandhawk or boot camp if you have your gun out and then you come across a uh, a four time scope and you pick up the four time scope by pressing x it's going to automatically be equipped to your gun and then if you're in close quarters combat it could, it could get you killed so i would recommend having this on site only and then auto replace replace attachments you want to have on so what that does that is honestly a really awesome feature so let's just say you know i want to put a six on this and let's drop the car here like whenever i go to pick up my car or a different gun it's going to automatically equip the attachment so let's say i pick up like let's say i have a 6x on my car right here and i pick up a sks off a dead body which i would never do that but i'm just saying let's say you pick the sks off the dead body it's automatically going to transfer over the uh, 6x to the sks plus any other attachments that'll fit to the K9, the K9. So it is really, you know, it is a really awesome feature. I like, it just makes it a lot easier to switch guns, especially after you kill somebody. So I do like that a lot. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend to have auto equip scopes on site only and then auto replace attachments I would definitely have on. Now auto reloading, that's something that I used to use, but I recently turned it off because I noticed that like, let's say I'm in a gunfight and I use all my bullets for whatever reason, or let's say a second enemy, um, you know, I start shooting at a second enemy and I run out of bullets. 
if you keep shooting whenever you run out of bullets, your players are going to start reloading, and then you get the slow animation as you're trying to get back to cover, and that can get you killed. So now I would highly recommend that you guys keep the auto reload feature off because, like I said, it's gotten me killed quite a few times. So I decided to turn that off. And then the um, the graphics mode, I would definitely recommend you put that on frame rate priority. If you change it over to resolution priority, you're gonna get really bad frame drops in this game. Build of view, I keep at 90 just in case when I go in first person, I can see a little bit better. And then um, my kill feed, I have on text. You can do graphic if you'd like. I just prefer text. Colorblind mode, this is how you change your cross, uh, crosshair. I have that as red. And then also like the default firing for everything, I would highly recommend that you guys put this all on full auto. And the TP aim camera position, I have it to reset to right shoulder. I thought about maybe trying it to latest peak shoulder just to see if that makes a difference, but I'm used to, I'm used to it. I'm used to it being on right shoulder, so I'll just probably leave it the way it is, but I play on type B as you guys know, and I'm not gonna go into greater detail, great details on all these settings because I did that in my last video, but I play on type B, which, you know, like I said, I can aim down the sights by put, holding left trigger, and then with my paddles, if I wanna hold my breath, I can just tap in on the bottom paddle right here, as you can see, and you know, hold his breath, and then I use the other one for B. And like I said, what I thought about doing is mapping my buttons different to where I hold my breath by tapping in on the left stick and then leaning with my two paddles on the bottom. I thought about maybe trying that. We'll see. I'm not really sure if I'm gonna do that or not. And then my dead zone, right stick is at eight. Left, left stick dead zone is at 10. Um, and then my vibration is always off. Forward running sensitivity and movement sensitivity always have, I have at 50 and 70. Vertical sensitivity multiplier. Now this is something that I did talk about a little bit in my last video. But if you put this down to 75, you, you won't be you won't really be able to tell a big difference except with your recoil control. Like with it being at 75, I feel like I can I can control my recoil so much better because my right stick isn't as sensitive. So if you have trouble controlling your recoil, I would def, I would highly recommend you push that down to 75 and just give it a try because it will definitely help you as far as your uh, recoil control goes. And then let's see. General sensitivity I have at 13, vehicle is at 10, aim acceleration I have on but at 2. Now I used to have, like play with my aim acceleration all the way up to 10 and honestly that for me is not a good idea. I would not recommend having aim acceleration up high, if you're going to have it on I would just recommend around 2 or 3. I use aim acceleration just to shoot at you know moving cars but other than that if you place it at higher intervals then I feel like it's really going to throw off your muscle memory and it's going to like throw off your aim. So. I wouldn't recommend having it any higher than three, but like I said, everybody you know plays different. Over the shoulder aiming sensitivity, I have at 14, and then my 1x, 2x, and 3, I have at all eights, and then my 4, 6, 8, and 15, or my 4, 6, and 8, I have, have at six. Now, I thought about maybe bumping this up to eight, just because it's kind of difficult for me to aim down the sights and move fast while like, you know, surveying a open field. But I, I like having it lower because I feel like when you have your scopes lower then it's just easier to lock on the headshots. So at some point I may change it to eight and give it a try, but right now I feel like six is good. It just sucks because when I'm trying to like survey a field, it's kind of slow. So I haven't decided yet if I'm actually gonna change it or not. Then of course the 15 X uh, scope sensitivity is at 20 as well. And I believe that was all the settings that I wanted to discuss with you guys today. Like I said, um, and then you, you can also do like this right here, the network debug statistics. This basically just shows like your ping. So you can see in the top left hand corner, you, you can't really notice it unless you look directly at it. You can see like my ping is going from like 30 to 60. And then like, if you notice, you, it just helps you to like see what your internet connection is looking like. And then you, it helps you to see if you're losing any packet, whatever that means, you, just, you don't wanna lose any of that. So you can kind of gauge your internet connection and, and you can also see like if you ever get desync, you can see what your ping was at and then it just helps to see you you know what your settings look as far as your network connection goes so i'll leave that on just because it's kind of cool to look at but i think that was everything that i wanted to discuss with you guys um so yeah man that's all the settings that i would recommend after the latest patch and in my last video like i said if you guys want to check that out you definitely can i went into greater detail on all of these videos so i'll leave that in the link in the description down below if you guys want to check that out you definitely can 
all right guys there you have it um those are the best settings that i would recommend for you guys as far as like type c goes and the auto equip attachment feature as far as my settings go like everybody's different i've seen people play on tens i've seen good players play like lower at like four so really it just comes down to personal preference and muscle memory one thing that's key with these settings is you want to make sure that you don't change them very often because you don't want to mess up your muscle memory which is a very important factor at actually being able to hit you know shots consistently you know like if you feel like your ain't like, like your ads is too slow then bump it up you know one or two and just leave it for a few days and just see how it feels and of course if it's too fast then you just want to lower it but you can definitely find a happy medium because everybody plays different you just got to give yourself like if you change your settings you just got to give yourself like a few days to get adjusted to it or you know you're never going to get adjusted to it if you keep changing your settings and it's just going to mess you up in the long run but yeah that's everything that i want to discuss with you guys in today's video um i do appreciate all the support drop a like drop a sub for your boy that's all I have on the day i'm out peace